This is part 4 in the demonstration of ongoing VMS. In this part we will go through the economy module. We will start with the price list, which is set up uniquely for each goods owner. Then we will look at how to create an invoice, do manually charges and calculate invoices based on statistics from the system. In this example we will create a price list containing price list items for rent, inbound deliveries, outbound deliveries and an hourly fee for manual work. There are three types of pricings. The first is statistics that are calculated based on data in the system. For example, how many inbound deliveries you have done or the number of used locations. The next type is fixed pricings, such as a rent that is the same every invoice period and should be included for each invoice. The last type is price list items that needs to be charged manually. This can be extra work for relabeling goods or other actions that are not logged in the system. The price list I will set up here contains the following price list items. For inbound deliveries, we want to charge 100 euros per received postage order. The rent is 1 euro per location and day for the smaller picking locations and 10 euros per day and location for pallet storage. For outbound delivery, we have a fixed price of 1 euro per order and then additionally 50 cent per order row up to 10 order rows thereafter 30 cent per order row. The administration fee is 500 euro per month and then we have an hourly rate of 10 euros per hour for manual work. To set up the price list, go to economy, price list. We start with the inbound delivery and type in a name and select a unit and a profit center. As we will see later, we can get an overview of each profit center. Since this is based on the statistics, I check this checkbox. I scroll down to find the statistics for inbound and select number of purchase orders with inbound during the period. If you do not find a suitable measurement, let us know. Not all measurements are visible per default and we can also create new one if needed. When I have selected a measurement in the list, I can see different ways to filter and group. For example, I can have different types of purchase orders and price them differently. Before I save my price list item, I can test it here. If I get the expected result, I press create to save the price list item. I will now create the price list item for rent. When I have selected the measurement, I choose the filter by location type. Then I save this price list item and create the next item and select the other location type. If you are using filters like this, make sure to have a price list item for all types to avoid not charging for some location types. Here I can select to which date to count the goods as out of stock. Normally you select the picking date. The delivery date is the delivery date set on the order and might not correspond to the actual time of delivery. Shift time is a timestamp that is most often set when using the send or picked up button in the system or in the scanning. I can use grouping to present the data in different ways. If I select to view it by article, I will get a row for each article. If you want to see it as a summary of all locations and articles, just leave it blank. The base price for an order is set up the same way as we did for the purchase order.
For the price per order row, I select the measurement number of order rows. To set the price depending on the quantity of order rows per order, I select that I want to use a price matrix and that I want to specify the price per unit in different intervals. I have to then group the price per order, otherwise we will get paid 50 cent for the first 10 order rows for that invoice period, and thereafter 30 cent. Instead, we want to restart counting for each order. Administration fee is fixed. So all I have to do is check this checkbox and add how many of this priceless item that should be added to each invoice. This quantity will then be added every time I calculate an invoice. For the manual work, I just add name, unit and price. I will later show you how you can add those in different ways to your invoice. Go to Economy Invoice. If you are using manual pricing, you must always have an active invoice for each goods owner. Whenever a manual charge is done, it will be placed on the active invoice. By the end of the invoice period, you will calculate the invoice to add all the fixed pricings and the ones that should be calculated from statistics. Start with giving the invoice a name and a number, and then select the invoice period. I select if I want this to be the active invoice or not in this checkbox. Only one invoice can be active at the same time, so if I set this to be active when I already have an active invoice in the system, the old invoice will be deactivated. Now I have activated the invoice and we will start adding debits. The first way to do this is go to Economy, Debit. I select which pricing I want to add and then fill in the details. As you can see, we have now added a row to the invoice. If you want to do a debit tied to a specific order or purchase order, you can go to order list and expand the order and press charge. You could also select one or more orders and press the charge button. This can also be done for purchase orders and it can also be added to outbound or inbound scanning flows. If I go back to my invoice and look at the invoice rows, I find the debits I just made. Let's say the invoicing period is over and I want to calculate my invoice. I just mark my invoice and press calculate. This can also be done from the invoice detail page. Now both the fixed pricing and the one from statistics has been added and I can take out an invoice specification. At Economy Invoice Overview, you find an overview of all the active invoices. At Invoice per month, you get an overview of all goods owners. You can filter by profit center or select a specific invoice to get more details. This was the last part in the online demonstration of ongoing VMS. If you want to learn more or get a free trial system, Contact us at contact at ongoingwarehouse.com or book your demo directly from ongoingwarehouse.com 